The trust curve is one of the most important marketing 2.0 concepts around. It states that as trust builds over time, the relationship strengthens and the target person, whether that's a prospective client or member or employee, moves through the stages of awareness, preference, trial and commitment. The job of marketing is to put together initiatives that help that target person or organization along this journey. These initiatives can be as simple as PR for awareness or blogging for preference or an interview or a test drive for trial, or they can be much more complex and cross a number of these stages, a social media strategy, a new product launch plan, and so on. So here's a key marketing question. What happens after commitment? If there's a significant investment in marketing to get a target to finally transact, how can this marketing investment be spread across transactions beyond the initial one, both additional ones with the same client and additional ones through referral? To answer, look more deeply at two parts of the trust curve, trial and commitment. Trial is the test drive, while commitment is a transaction. If the target transaction is to sell a book, then a potential trial initiative might be to give away a few chapters, or maybe to give a discount coupon. Or if the target commitment is a large service engagement or a large product sale, one trial initiative might be to sell them a book. The book in these two cases serves two purposes, a demonstration of commitment and a trial for the next transaction. Every interaction is merely a test drive, a trial for the next transaction. We call this the trust chain. Yes, the marketing strategist must determine the initiatives underlying the trust curve, but to build a strong, engaged ecosystem, the trust chain demands far more, starting with excellent delivery. Not only must there be no buyer's remorse, but the post-commitment experience must vastly exceed their expectations. To put this concept into practice, one must first define the potential chain of next step products and services that your target might be interested in the actual trust chain. For an association, the trust chain might look like this. They attend monthly meeting as a guest. Then they become a member. Then they choose to attend the annual conference. Then they volunteer on a committee or at an event. Then they sit on the board. Then they seek certification. Then they teach courses in the area. In professional services, say an accounting firm or law firm, the trust chain would be quite different. They attend a tax planning seminar. They decide to get a second opinion on a corporate tax matter. They, they move the corporate tax to the firm. Then later they move other services, say audit and advisory service to the firm. Then they move the personal tax to the firm. Then they ask the firm to help with due diligence on a transaction. And then they respond positively to a proactive pitch for management consulting re-technology. Then they attend the firm's training sessions. Then they maybe sit on the firm's ad industry advisory board. Finally, with a strong relationship comes the right to ask them for help. Fundamentally, this means doing three things. Asking for testimonials via LinkedIn or on video. Empowerment, help tool them up to advocate on your behalf and share their experience with, with you with their network and to ask directly for referrals. So here's your challenge. There are only two types of relationships, those that are getting better and those that are getting worse. Look at your long timers. What did their trust chain look like? And then look at the most recent people or organizations that have made a commitment to you. What is the next step in their specific trust chain? Finally, document all of your organization's trust chains. Once you do this, you'll have a far more, you'll know far more about your organization's marketing priorities, and you'll build in a process that can only improve your relationships and your brand. I'm Randall Craig. I hope this got you thinking. If it resonates, I share my insights with teams as a speaker and advisor at conferences and events. Reach out to me at www.randallcraig.com.